two, one, go. Alright, hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Kenzie, and as you can probably tell by the topic of today's video, we're talking about different seasons in your life. So we tend to go through seasons of our lives that can either be really good or really bad. And we usually tend to enjoy the good seasons more. And then in the bad seasons, we're usually like, oh my gosh, this is the end of the world. Why is this happening to me? Like, why me? Why is this happening to me right now? What What's going on? But we have, to, one thing we usually don't realize is we have to go through bad seasons in order to appreciate the good seasons. Like, all right, think about it like it's a TV show. Okay? Think about life like it's a TV show. When TV shows come out, usually the first season, not that good. It's usually poor acting, plot line, like the plot makes no sense. And you are questioning just everything about the show and you're like, I don't think I want to watch this show. But then you get to season two and you're like, okay, the show's improved. I, I think I like this show. And so you're like, all right, everything's going really good. This, this, this is top notch. Like, I, I think I just found my new favorite show. But then in like season three, you get that one bad episode. It's usually the filler episode. But you get that one bad episode and you're like, great, show's going to crap again. But then the next episode, great. Rest of the season, great. So seasons two, three, four, and five are great. They're amazing. Every now and then they have some bad episodes. But then you get to season six. Plotline has made no sense whatsoever. You're sitting there and you're like, when they had time travel in? Did, what? Hold up, you're supposed to be in Antarctica right now. Why are you back? What are you talking about? You were not there the whole time. What are you talking? What is going on? What the, why are you back? Nobody liked you. And you're just, it, it's so confusing. But then, you know, again, the filler episodes or you know, even now and then the writers do a good episode. And even in that bad season, you have good episodes. Just like life. You have a bad season with good episodes and a good season with bad episodes. Right now, I'm in a great season of my life. I've been having a great season of my life for the past couple of months. And I am so thankful for these great season. This great season. But I also have bad episodes. Yesterday, bad episode of the season. But today, doing great. Today is the best episode ever of the season. And then tomorrow, it's gonna be another great episode. <laughs> you know, like, I, I am so, like, I am blessed. I am so extremely blessed. So what do I have to complain about? Like, a lot of us immediately go and complain, like, and then we don't think about, like, why am I complaining? Like, what do I actually have to complain about? A lot of the time we all forget Jeremiah 29 11, <clears throat> which says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, and there are plans to prosper you and to give you hope, not to harm you. I'll say, yes, I know. I'm not like getting that verse 100% correct, but just, yeah. Um, but anyway, we go through seasons of our life and we either decide, okay, great season, best season ever, nothing bad can happen to me now. And then like two weeks later, we go through a bad season and we're like, what do you mean? I thought I was done. I thought I was done. I thought it was all sunshine and rainbows. What, what's going on? And that's what happens. And we go through bad seasons and we freak out and we complain and we have anxiety attacks and we just don't understand what's happening. This happens to really strong Christians. This happens to people who don't believe in God. This is, happens to literally everybody. And we all go about it in different ways. But our first reaction, our first instinct should be to go to God. Our first reaction, oh, excuse me. Our first reaction and instinct should be immediately to go to God 
and ask for strength. Did I catch you off guard there? Did, did you think I was going to say we should immediately go to God and ask him to take us out of the storm, out of the hurricane? No. That, that shouldn't be our first reaction. Is it always my first reaction whenever I do go to God first? Yeah. I do immediately ask him to change our circ my circumstance rather than giving me strength. Um, I actually have a couple of pieces of advice here that I got from the Sadie Robertson podcast, Well, That's Good, which I highly suggest you go and listen to. It's so amazing. Literally, like, the words speak to you. Um, but this piece of advice right here is stop trying to calm the storm, calm yourself, the storm will pass. And that is literally so good. And that immediately spoke to me. Like as soon as I heard that, I was like, I gotta write that down. Because like I said, our first instinct is always to ask God to change the circumstance rather than asking him to change us or to help us and give us strength. Our, we immediately are like, God, get me out of this hurricane. Like, put me on a beach where it's beautiful and sunny and nothing is going wrong. So we should really remember to ask God to help us to be able to withstand the storm rather than, you know, go, like, get rid of the storm. Actually, I just realized... That goes perfect with the shirt I'm wearing today, which says, Fate whispered to her, you cannot withstand the storm. She whispered back, I am the storm. Why are we asking God to get rid of the storm when we should be asking God to help us withstand the storm or to be the storm against that storm? Why are we not asking God to be the good in everything? Like, why are we not asking him for strength immediately? Why are we immediately either trying to handle it on our own and complain and everything? Why is that our first instinct? And then our second instinct is to go to God and ask him to take care of the storm and get rid of the storm. When our first instinct is, should be to ask him to help us through the storm. Why? Because we're human. That's why that's our first instinct. All right. Um... Next is when everything is going wrong in your life, look at yourself and start naming all the good. I, okay, so there was this night I was at work. I was exhausted physically, mentally, and emotionally. I had worked, I don't know how many days already. And then two days in a row, I was covering for someone who was on dish pit. And on the second day, I was literally so exhausted so exhausted. It comes to the end of the night. I still have a crap ton of dishes to do. And my manager was like, all right, go ahead and call your ride. Cause he knew I didn't have a ride of my own. And so I go in the office. I literally just sit for like five seconds long enough to call my ride. Well, to call my mom. And I just broke down crying from being so exhausted. And one of my coworkers comes in and she was like, baby, are you okay? And I was like, no, I can't do this. I'm so exhausted. And she was like, sit down. It's okay. Like they can take care of it as my manager. And one of my other coworkers was like trying to help me keep up or like catch up on the dishes. And I was like, no, like I can do it. I just need a minute. And then, you know, I start doing up the dishes and everything. And my manager was so nice. He looks at me and he's like, all right, let's get it to where just this much is left to do. And then I will send you home. Like, like I can handle the rest of this. And I was like, thank you. Like I almost started crying again. Like he was so nice. And I really appreciate him doing that. Um, so I, I go to like sit in the office again because everything got done. I see there's a message from my family friend. The car, my parents' car wouldn't start that night, and so I ended up having to stay with this family friend. And yeah, in the moment, I was like, what the heck, no, like, I want to go home, I want to shower, I want to sleep in my own bed. Like, I just, I don't want to deal with this. Why was I complaining about that? 
Like, I should have just looked myself in the mirror, like, gone in the bathroom, looked myself in the mirror and gone, okay, yeah, it sucks I can't be in my own bed tonight. But at least I have this family friend who's willing to come let me stay at their house for the night, take a nice hot shower in their bathroom, use their, like, body wash and everything, because I obviously don't have my own, and be able to sleep in a bed there. They could have just been like, no, too bad. You're, you're cast out on the street for the night. But no, I had a family friend that was willing to come pick me up from work at like freaking 10 o'clock at night. And I was able to take a nice hot shower. And it was so awesome. But yet I, I was complaining in that situation though, because I'm like, what, what, why, why is this happening? Why is this happening to me? So... You know, there's just a really good tip for when you're going through a bad season of your life. Look at yourself and remind yourself of all the good that you still have. Uh, the last two, um, they, they go together, so I'm just going to read them both. Um, there's going to continue to be storms, but there's also going to continue to be, to be promises. Um, and then number four is just because you've reached a promise doesn't mean there won't still be storms. Storms are going to happen. Promises are going to happen. They might intertwine with each other. Like I said, you might have a really bad season with a, with a couple of good episodes. You might have a really good season with a couple of bad episodes. It's going to happen. That is, that's just life. And not going to lie, sometimes it sucks. But it still happens. But just because we're going through a really bad time doesn't mean there won't be a really good time. And just because we're having a, like, going through a really, really good time doesn't mean we're not still going to have bad times. It just means those bad times are going to be make it to where we can appreciate the good things more. So just wanted to share all of that. Um, not sure if you can tell, but I got a little emotional during this. Like I almost started crying a couple times. But yeah, like these are just things I think we should all try to remember more. Hope you enjoyed this video. There are more coming. There are definitely more videos coming. Um, like I have a list on my phone of what I'm going to talk about in these videos. And that's honestly what a bunch of these videos are going to be for a while. It's just me talking about stuff like this. Um, also, uh, I'm filming a bunch of videos in a row today. So um, you're probably going to see the shirt a lot in like the setup and everything. So yeah. But um. I hope you all have a great and blessed day. And even if you're in a bad storm, remember, there, there's still going to be good episodes. And there's still a lot to be thankful for. Bye.